Grant, as the training camp comes to an end, how do you feel this week has gone? Was there anything in particular you were wanting to get out of it? Yeah, look, I think it's important to use the time you've got together. Um, it's not often we get the players to an environment like this where we're together 24-7, um, using the time to, to get to know each other that bit more. For, for the ones that are here, the new girls coming through uh, across to join us and, and integrate them into the squad. Um, obviously, it's really, really important, the, the whole bond and environment that we're trying to create between the players and staff um, is really important. So, so we've used the time for that really well, I think. Um, and, and obviously, there's your physical and tactical preparation for, for the season ahead, which um, obviously is vital. Um, but it's a uh, yeah, great environment to do it in. Um, and, and have that consistency at a time together um, where we're not all disappearing off to our other lives after practice and stuff. So, um, yeah, just just a fantastic opportunity for us to be here and, and we've hopefully maximised what, what we could to get out of it. You mentioned some new arrivals there. There was quite a lot of turnover in the summer. How are the new signings settling in? Yeah, honestly, I can't praise them highly enough and I can't praise the existing players highly enough for, for the efforts that they make to welcome people to the club. It's been something that you know, I've been involved in for a couple of occasions now and, and that hasn't changed as the club's developed and, and the women's team in particular have moved forward. So, um, yeah, it, it's always difficult for the new players, but um, again, getting quality time together like this helps with that process and, and the, the girls are great and already just feel part of everything. That's brilliant. Also, you said there about the effort off the pitch. On it, how have you felt about the effort and attitude of the players here in Spain when you've been on the pitch? Yeah, it's honestly, it's just gone on a, a step from, from back home. I felt we came back to practice really well. Um, the, the effort, desire in the group um, feels really high. Um, and and it's, as I say, it's just gone a step further here. Uh, and again, that consistency of time and being here. Um, but we're working in blistering heat, trying our best to manage the, the work that we put the players through and, and make sure that they have all the support from the staff and nutrition and hydration and, and just the physical planning that goes into stuff um, but yeah I think it's it's I can't fault the players efforts and, and application and everything we've asked them to do while we've been here. Um, could you maybe give a little update on like player fitness we spoke about it a little bit in an interview before we came here has anything changed since then? Um, not massive strides I can't remember the previous one but um, you know obviously there's a longer term girls who are, who are well, well mentioned Rachel Boyle and, and Rosie Livingston um, can just continuing with the, the progress they've been making um, but other than that almost everyone's back in and full training we've had good numbers um, you know little things that have happened here and a little strain here or there you have to be sensible but yeah the, the, the players look well and fighting fit. Well, so you mentioned Rachel Boyle there and um, she is announced as captain as of the time this will go out um, can you just Give us a little speech on that. Was that an easy decision to make? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Rachel is, uh, was, was the vice captain uh, behind Joel anyway. Um, so for me, it's a natural progression for her. Um, look, the tricky part is that she's not been around the group as consistently um, and obviously not been on the field for a long time. Um, but that doesn't change who she is. I've worked with Rachel before. Um, you know, quietly and in her own way and, in a, and if I'm honest in a different way from uh, Joel, um, it, it, Rachel is a fantastic leader of the group um, and I think her status as a player that she was before injury and, and before pregnancy, um, you know she's got the respect and command of the group um, without making a lot of effort and, and it was very natural for us to, um, t to give that, that honour to Rachel for sure. Obviously, Rachel hopefully will be fit for the first game of the season, just finally. It's just a couple of weeks until her first SWPL match of the season. How determined are you in the group to hit the ground running? Yeah, look, I think it's, it's very, very important that we perform to our best um, as soon as we possibly can in the season. Um, it's probably always difficult to do so in your first match, but nothing's won or lost in that first match um, at the same time. So, um, but look, we, we know our first game against Partick Thistle away, change of venue, it's going to be what it is, it's a, it's a tough match, there's a lot of tough matches in the division now, but um, yeah, looking at our squad and our group, we, we are hopeful that we can be very, very competitive this year, um, obviously that remains to be seen, but um, yeah, we, we're, we're looking very, very close to being ready now and, and come match day one we'll be ready. Perfect, thank you Grant.
Bola. Cheers.